In uh, this video, I'm going to show you how to make an inference about two population proportions. Proportion, guys, means a percent or probability. So you're going to be given two samples from two different populations, and you're going to be asked to test whether one proportion is larger than the other, or one proportion is smaller than the other, or one proportion is different from the other. So when you write your null and the alternative hypothesis, you always have one of three choices scenarios. The first scenario, always anyway, P1 must equal to P2. So the equal sign is always in the null hypothesis. So what would be the alternative? It could be P1 different from P2. The other scenario, guys, is when HOP1 equals P2. But he might ask you to test that P1 is less than P2. What's P1? P1 is a proportion for population 1 and P2 is a proportion for population 2. The third scenario is P1 equals P2, HA, P1 is larger than P2. I don't expect you to show me any different sets of hypotheses other than those three. It has to be one of the three when you do a question about the population, the difference between two population proportions. So let's read the question and let's do it on the calculator. You know, I'm not asking you to do any work by hand here at all. You can use the calculator throughout, whether you're doing your homework or on the test using the calculator. A recent survey showed that in a sample of 100 elementary school teachers, 15 were single. So let's try it. So it's elementary school teachers vice high school teachers. And here is high school here. Okay, so N1, sample size Sample size from, uh, is 100, and x1, I'm using x1 and x2 because I have two different proportions, is 15. 15 were single. In a sample of 180 high schools, so I have to call this n2, and how many were singles here? It's 31. Is the proportion of elementary school teachers who were single less than the proportion of high school teachers who were single? So he's asking us if P1 is less than P2. So which one would that be, guys? It's the one in the middle here. So my first step is to write the null in the alternative hypothesis. P1 equals P2. It's always equal here. HA P1 is less than P2. That's your first step. The second step and the third step will be done on the calculator where we find the test statistic and the p-value. Okay, my calculator is turned on now, so let me just take you to the test. So you go to stat, All right here, you scroll over to tests, and it is a two proportion z test. That's what you use here. Okay, it's asking me for x1, which is 15, enter. It's asking me for N1, which is 100, so I have 100 there. It's asking me for X2, which is 31. It's asking me for N2, which is, should be 180. Uh, now, before you hit calculate, P1 column means it choose your uh, alternative hypothesis. It's a less than, so I'm going to scroll to the middle, and pre you must press Enter, otherwise it will not be selected. And then hit calculate. Okay, here is Z. Z, zero, in the book he calls it Z, zero. It's negative 0.481 or 48 if you like. Two digits, P value. What is the P value here? 0.3153. Now, here's how you use the P value approach, guys. If value is less than or equal to alpha you reject HO if P value is more than alpha you fail to reject HO so if I pause a second here what is it gonna be my alpha in the exercise guys is 0 0.01 well you can see 0 0.3153 is bigger than 0 0.01 so p-value is bigger than alpha, which is 0 0.01. So what's your decision? Fail 
to reject H O. What's my conclusion here? We need to write, you know, uh, interpret our decision in the context of the problem of the claim. So since you fail to reject H O, here's how you start. You say there is not enough evidence at the 0 0.01 level of significance to support the claim. You guys, when you fail to reject HO and the claim is in HA, you cannot support it. So you say this statement that I'm writing right here uh, to support the claim that you just cut and copy, uh, cut and paste the claim from the exercise itself. That proportion of elementary school teachers who are single is less than the less than that of high school teachers. We're going to do a second exercise and uh, using the TI-84 as well. Okay, the second exercise. A random sample of 100 students at the high school was asked whether they would ask their father or mother for help with a financial problem. A second sample of 100 different students was asked the same question regarding a dating problem, whether they asked their mother or father, you know, for an advice. If 43 students in the first sample and 47 students in the second sample replied that they turned to their mother rather than their father for help, test the hypothesis that the two proportions are different. Okay? So, P1, we have financial and we have dating uh, we're going to refer to this population P1 and this proportion is P2 and what does he give me here he says N1 here is 100 and X1 is 43 N2 what was the second uh, also it was 100 but X2 was what 47 what is it that we want to test, guys? It is in the question. You put P1, P2, you put P1, P2, and now you t this is equal always in the null hypothesis. He's asking me to test the hypothesis that the two proportions are different. Different means not equal to. And this is my claim right here. Okay, let's turn to tune to the calculator and do this. So turn the calculator on. All right, let me clear the screen. We'll go to stat and tests again. Two proportion Z test, guys. It's the same test. Okay, X1. This is 43 in here. Uh, N1 is 100. We keep it. X2 is what? 47. And N2 is 100. What is it that I'm testing? The alternative sign I'm testing that P1 is different from P2. So press enter. You must press enter here to select this one and then hit calculate. And here you go. Z0 is, this is step number two, negative 0.57. P value is about 0 0.5697. Always put four decimal digits for the p-value, guys. And as you can see, this is more than alpha. Alpha is 0 0.02 here. So what's the decision if p-value is more than alpha? Fail to reject HO. Okay, conclusion. If we fail to reject HO, guys, and your claim is HA, you cannot support the claim. So every time you have the word fail, you have to start with there is not enough 
evidence. You can say to support the claim or to conclude. To support the claim that the two proportions are different. Okay, that, uh, that concludes uh, the problem.